Aaron, want to thank you very much. Head coach Aaron Bowman joining us here this afternoon, or late this evening, I should say. Nice win in this first game. Really kind of got the bats going. Yeah, that, that win felt good. You know, we started off, though, I wasn't very happy at all with how we started. Didn't execute on defense, uh, made them look like we got some hits, and made them look like they're super fast on the bases. And we, we came in the dugout and got after them, remotivated, and they responded. And they came out, and you could really see them feeding off of their their energy and you know, one base hit turned into two turned into three turned into four so that was that was a lot of fun do you like seeing that kind of patience at the plate i mean it was a patience but it was an aggressiveness if the ball was in the strike zone those last couple of innings they were making good contact oh the only thing i could keep thinking to say to them is don't get greedy wait for a good pitch because i know what it's like when you're mm -hmm. when your teammates are hitting and Mariah lines one over the fence, and Abby T has in the park home run, so then the other girls want to do that too. So I, I just said, be patient, and they were, and I didn't even have to worry about it because they were. Talk about the pitching of Carly Hoffman here tonight. Uh, gave up a couple of runs in the first inning, really on two bunts, and then a base hit later on in the ball game, but uh, or later in that first inning, but kind of closed the door on everybody in the second and third. Yeah, she's been pitching great. All her pitches are working, been using everything. Um, both our pitchers, uh, Mariah was pitching great yesterday too. It's just that we haven't always had the defensive backing and then they end up throwing a lot more pitches but she did a really nice job and she continues to, to, to be consistent with hitting her locations. I was going to say that's the one thing that really impressed me tonight not many pitches yeah. outside of the strike zone she hasn't walked many hitters this year either. Right yeah and uh, Ashley Siebenhaler behind the plate has been doing a much better job early in the season we had a lot of pass balls and and uh, they're just getting extra bases left and right but she I don't even know if she had one tonight get past her. And that makes a big difference because our defense feels more confident, our pitchers feel more confident when we can keep those runners on first and second instead of all the way to third on pass balls. Coach, how do you get the team refocused now for a second game here in this doubleheader after winning the first one 15 to three in three innings? Well, we just reminded them of what our, our season goals were in the beginning and one of them was to sweep Shenandoah. We reminded them about our Red Oak doubleheader. There are, our goal was to sweep them, and uh, second game we came out and scored, and then we got complacent. So it's just bringing those things back into their memory, saying this isn't a team that can coast. We have to go out and uh, and expect base hits, expect stealing bases, and all that kind of thing. So we had a good talk, and I think they'll come ready to go. Well, Aaron, I appreciate you joining us. I know you got to get ready for the second game. Thank you very much, and good hustle getting that water off out here today. <laughs> took, took six dads to turn it off, and I just ran around encouraging. <laughs> Well, Aaron, congratulations on the win. Thanks for joining us here in the postgame. Thank you.